everybody, Jaws Jr. here. That's a big difference than what it was yesterday, let me tell you. 50 degrees down in San Francisco at the Golden Gate Bridge. But here, I am here to show you a 1993 chassis cab GMC 3500. It's got a 6.2 liter uh, diesel motor in it, which is, yeah, I know the haters out there is going to hate on this thing. But there's a reason for it. But it also has a 6.5 liter top end and turbo. So let's take this thing out. Mind you, it is oh, roughly 19 degrees. We're going to do a cold start. It's been sitting here for a week. But trust me, there's a 6.5 liter top end sitting on top of that uh, 6.2 liter. Overall, what this is, it's a former Air Force truck, 10,000 pound uh, GVW, what, 4,200 pound payload? 4,800 pound payload. Don't know what the towing capacity is, he hasn't found out yet what it is. But it just turned 100,000 miles. So it's actually a uh, pretty good shape. Let me show you the inside of this of this beast. For 93, the interior is in immaculate shape. Plan is, see this ugly bed? If you know somebody who wants to buy a bed, I'll put you in contact with them. He's going to sell this and then he's going to build a flat bed. So enough talk, we're here to see if this thing will actually start up and how easily it will start up if it does in 19 degree weather with it sitting here for a week. So sit back, hang on, and who knows, you might end up with a face full of smoke. Low plugs. They do cycle a long time. Boy, that takes forever. Oh well. There may be a resistor modification to the glow plug circuit. There we go. Okay, let's see what this thing will do. Crank it. Ah. Looks like it was summertime. So there you go everybody, there is a cold start of a 1993 GMC chassis cab with a 6.2 liter motor in it. Yeah, there's a reason why he got that, he got a heck of a good deal on it, let me tell you. It's a former Air Force truck, so it was well maintained. There's a, a private owner between the Air Force and him that he bought it from. As you see, 19 degrees, it's actually starting to snow right now, you might be able to see a little bit of this coming down. Um, like I said, 19 degrees, it's fired right up. It's been sitting there for a week. He started it last, I guess, on Saturday or Sunday of last week or something like that. It has not moved. 
and it started that easy, which is just literally incredible for a 6.2 liter motor. I mean, I've got experience with those, and they're an all right motor, is, but they did not like cold weather. This one here is just phenomenal. I think he's got himself a pretty good deal. Plus, having the 6.5 liter top end on that with, a, with that little turbo, yeah, it doesn't push much boost, but it does what it does. It's, it's, it serves the purpose, and it's going to serve the purpose of him and his business, and he's got to be pulling around 6,000 pounds. And so we'll just go, we'll just see how things go with it in the long term. And there's going to be follow ups to this video as well. So we're going to do follow ups with this truck for you guys. So there you have it. Did it? I mean, it actually worked pretty good. So for now, everybody, hey, but first, click right here. See, see right here? My hand's now covered by it. Click here. That's the video of my cold start of my 1979 Chevy uh, K20 old green so I did a cold start of that not too long ago too about night it was pretty cold then too so click there and anyway everybody thanks for watching appreciate it subscribe man everybody subscribe I would really like to get my subscriber count up I'm I'm here putting out videos for all of you I uh, just really want to get more subscribers on my channel so you can see what's going on when I post stuff uh, other than that just remember everyone's life is an adventure then there's mine this is the Adventures of Jaws Jr. Have a good one, everybody. See ya!